The next few projects are going to detail three specific uh, mechanical processes that we use in fireworking when uh, making a composition. A composition, let's say, to make black match or fountains or rocket motors or stars or black powder. These basic mechanical processes or techniques are used in all of those uh, composition mixing uh, steps. I mentioned in the chemicals overview that potassium nitrate specifically can come in two different states. One is a crystalline uh, granular kind of state similar to table salt or table sugar. One is a milled state similar to talcum powder where I can't really feel the bits between my fingers really. Um, I will be specifying from chemical suppliers, fireworks cookbook or uh, another supplier if you can find it there, milled potassium nitrate so you can skip this step. Many of us do get the granular crystalline potassium nitrate though and we want to reduce it to the talcum powder very fine potassium nitrate and we'll often do that in our ball mills you can study the articles on ball milling and ball mills in the article section to familiarize yourself with ball milling but in fireworking 101 for beginners beginner fireworkers I won't be specifying ball milling because then we're getting into more expensive more complex machines and you don't know how seriously you're going to take this art yet so let's keep it nice and simple but for many of our compositions it is specified use fine chemicals if, the, if a chemical isn't meant to be fine such as more coarse charcoal like the 36 or 80 mesh charcoal that will be specified but normally typically we will be using fine chemicals sulfur air float charcoal come in a fine state in fireworking 101 the only chemical that may not come in a fine state that we want in a fine state will be the coarse potassium nitrate if that's what you have on hand or if you if that's what you get your hands on when screening something like I'm about to do once again I'd often do this outdoors wearing a dust mask but I'm filming this for uh, demonstration purposes I have a separate sheet of paper on the table and this is my 50 mesh screen uh, when I when a fine chemical is specified it's normally understood that it ought to at least pass a 40 or 50 mesh screen if not a 100 mesh screen but this potassium nitrate that is that came in a fine state already even though it's somewhat clumped will the clumps will break up and it will pass this 50 mesh screen very very easily doesn't take much effort to get it to master pass the 50 mesh screen and it would actually almost all pass a 100 mesh screen which is a pretty darn fine screen so the fine potassium nitrate if you get it you can break up the clumps by simply putting it through the 50 mesh screen But let's say we have some of the more coarse crystalline potassium nitrate that in general, although some of it will pass the 50 mesh screen, most of it won't or a lot of it won't. And if I do want it to get the to pass the 50 mesh screen, it's clogging up a lot of the pores and it is not what we would consider to be in a fine state. This that is not passing a 50 mesh screen is not what we'd call in a fine state. So the question is, without a ball mill, without fancy complicated equipment, how could we get this potassium nitrate fine enough to use in our compositions that we'll be making? And the answer is a little blade mill. In the past, lots of times, a blade type coffee grinder uh, has been specified and used. 
those burn up very quickly. If you run those more than two or three minutes, they overheat and burn up. This is a GE Rocket Blender, single serving blender. Comes with a base that has the four blades in it. Um, it's available at Walmart, various other places. If you uh, Google single serving blender, Rocket Blender. Uh, some other versions of this are the uh, Ninja Blender and some of the other single serving blenders that you can find on the shelves at uh, the kitchen wares aisle of a place like Walmart. This will spin that blade at a very, very high speed. Doesn't burn. It's a, it's a heavier duty implement than a coffee mill and still only costs about $20. So to mill some of our crystalline potassium nitrate, I only want to put <clears throat> maybe a half a cup of the nitrate in there at a time. Something like that is plenty. I want to mill this fairly quickly and fairly fine and not overwork the machine. And I'm going to run this for, oh, two or three minutes until it appears as though that's getting pretty darn fine in there. I can tell when this is getting fine, some of it starts to cling to the inside of the container and it starts to fluff up and just look a lot finer and whiter in there. So let's see what we have. Once I'm done using this, it's very easily washed out with a hose or in the sink. I never use the rocket blender to mill, I've never used it to mill charcoal, that would probably be a very messy operation. I always just buy air float charcoal if I want air float charcoal. Or I do mill some in my ball mill, but we won't be needing to mill any charcoal. I would never mill metals, or um, I would never mill a mixed composition that's flammable in here. I'm only milling in, an individual chemical, typically an oxidizer like potassium nitrate. can tell I'm breathing just a little bit of this dust. So like I said, I normally would probably do this outdoors if the weather is conducive to it. I would definitely wear a dust mask. Now this is all passing the 50 mesh screen very, very easily. I can feel just barely some little bits in there, but it's gotten it into a pretty fine state. And I can repeat that a few times to get as much milled potassium nitrate as I want. So, once again, if you buy milled potassium nitrate from the Fireworks Cookbook or another supplier that might carry it, you won't need to do this step. But quite often we will find, we will find and get access to the crystalline potassium nitrate, and it's good to know how to reduce its particle size, how to pulverize it 
pulverized simply means reduced to a powder. We're looking to reduce this to a very fine powder. I can now take that and instead of putting it back into my coarse potassium nitrate tub, I can put this into my fine potassium nitrate tub to be used when potassium nitrate is called for in a composition.